There are certain people in this world that believe in lies, but I'm one person who believe in facts. Anything else I tend to not even pay attention to, I would probably hear it, in other words, and just let it go through one ear and come through the other. But in this R. Kelly case, I'm only dealing with facts. So I want to start this video out by saying uh, facts. There are a lot of females that don't believe that R. Kelly is this uh, malicious predator per se, and they are riding it out, <laughs> believing this man is 100% innocent. And these are facts. It's no way in hell he's 100% innocent. This man always has been messing with underage uh, girls. It goes all the way back to the 90s with Aaliyah. That's his, when it first got our uh, attention, but it could have been going on longer than that. He also was abused as a youth. Uh, his own family members raped him, in other words. So he has a, a, a mental condition, people. Stop steering away because you, you thought he was a... Uh, some type of sex symbol in the 90s or you made babies off his music love the way this man sings stop worshiping idols these people are as fake as they come because i'm quite sure a lot of you have never really met celebrities probably not get the norm or you don't know anybody famous if you did you would know this is all an image and like 90 percent of them are fake as fuck now let's get to the point at hand facts jocelyn savage has turned on r kelly because guess what people he was paying those girls to lie, and the money is running out. The link for this article will be in the description. Now, according to TMZ, and if you want to read this entire article over and get more facts, just click on the link right down below. Now, <clears throat> R. Kelly, alleged sex slave speaks out, turns on the jail singer. So, this was printed out on 11-23-2009 at 2.13 p.m. when R. Kelly's attorney, uh, Steve Greenberg, told TMZ that Jocelyn is exploring her time with his client and trying to make a buck off her situation, he says. It is unfortunate that Jocelyn now seeks to make money by exploiting her longtime loving relationship with Robert. Greenberg asked, obviously, if she were to tell the truth, no one would pay, so she asked. Unfortunately, chosen to regurgitate the stories and lies told by others for her own personal profit. We know the real facts, and it will not. It was not until the money ran out that she decided anything was wrong. Hopefully, people will see it was for the obvious profiteering it is. Now, as I state, er, stated earlier, all this is about money. Uh, there are several victims that came forward saying that R. Kelly gave them money to be quiet. All right, let's go on. So one of R. Kelly's alleged sex slaves, living girlfriends, is breaking her silence on the nature of her relationship with the jail singer, and it seems she's turning on him. Jocelyn Savage, whom her family believes has been under R. Kelly's control for years, now posted on Instagram saying that she's partnered with a paid content site called Patreon to put out her side of the story despite breaking an NDA saying she's signed. <laughs> So her IG cap read, caption read that I am risking my life for many others. The story is 18 plus and only for mature audience. I want to make sure my story is very detailed as I can remember. She also also used Lizzo's Truth Hurts to tease her new venture. Pretty much telling us everything uh, for the prelude of her story with R. Kelly. Now I'm not going to play it because I'm not going to promote this, this bitch because I think she's wrong either way it go. She she playing both sides of the fence. This is what you call two-faced. At first you was down with the dude, he didn't do nothing. Now you saying that he actually controlled you and did all the things that people said in the beginning. So I don't give no fucks now, you know, because I when people start lying and shit, it's just whatever with me. So it looks like the first chapter where it all started is out according to the Daily Beast, where she says, uh, seems to be throwing R. Kelly under the bus in her initial recounting and is airing his dirty laundry. She gets into how she met him at a concert when she was 17, going on to say that it was a fun experiment that left her with mixed emotions. Jocelyn also reported, added that R. Kelly promised her a music career, allegedly saying he'd make her the next Aaliyah. Jocelyn then goes on to say that she dropped out of college and moved in with him, but says things turned ugly fairly quickly. As she claims, 
he became incredibly controlling. For example, Josh Lim reportedly writes, after these couple of months, Robert started giving me commands and making sure I called him by certain names like master or daddy, which I didn't really care for at the time. She continues, if I wasn't getting paid or pursuing my dream, I would have went home, but all of that didn't stop just yet. So, and here's that, um, Instagram post that she made is something I need to reveal, something I should have talked about a long time ago. This is my story. So, and she added, but if, but it get, started getting worse day by day, he would raise his voice at me. If I didn't call him by those two names, if Robert called me, I would have to reply with yes, daddy, or please daddy. He was so controlling. She then claims R. Kelly threatened to torpedo her career if she ever left him. I tried talking to her parents in private. Jocelyn came to R. Kelly said, all this can stop today. You want a career or do you want a, you want to live a normal life? So we know R. Kelly is currently incarcerated and facing several sex abuse charges from different states. Now, people, this is so much bullshit. You know, um, She's exposing this man now after he stopped giving them hush money. And Gail King said uh, during that interview in February when she did it with uh, the two victims, well, his two girlfriends, Jocelyn and the other chick, and R. Kelly said R. Kelly was um, off camera talking to them in private every time they would say something while they were on camera, he would cough to let them know that he was in the room. Meaning that they already had a story plan and they were going to go with it. So this is not a shock to me about um, them flipping on him because I knew he was paying people. It's too much. No one comes out with this many uh, claims of the same thing for so long and be innocent. And I just <laughs> knew I off rip. But, you know, don't be shocked what happens next you know because this is all about money but everybody seems to have something dirty uh to do with r kelly you know somebody everybody involved in this little sex ring or whatever he had going was doing dirty stuff either against him or for their own profit so it's all bad on every aspect and there's no cap like this video leave your comments and subscribe later